Good morning everybody. Beck here, how are you all? It's an absolutely beautiful day here. Amazing. Just not a cloud in the sky. There was some dirty fog hanging around that's now gone. And I just thought I would come on and say hello. And just show you a little rainforest creek here. It's so small compared to what it used to be. It's such a shame. And I still haven't got that new phone case. Okay. So they ripped apart this side as you can see the difference. See this is what they do to the land everywhere. So this was this but even better because all the forest on the side of it's all gone it's just park either side yeah the destruction of our home it's it's already happened it's there's not much left where did all those poor animals go that were um kicked out of their homes my daughter caught a koala in a tree in suburbia and it's heartbreaking. The other day I was at a site where they'd pulled down a heap of trees and there was a nest of kookaburras sitting there. It was so sad. I made a video. I'm not sure if I uploaded it. It was so sad. Now look at this. Look at all this rubbish. That's just all rubbish out of the drain there. You know, and this is a really high class area here, guys. This is not, I don't live in a place that's, you know, um, low, low income earners. So the council is just not doing anything around here. You know, this is everywhere in all the drains. And what's become of this place? Brisbane? It's gone down the tubes like everywhere else. That's what's happened. And this is the nice parts. There is not much nice parts left. But anyway, on a, on a happier note, I am just glad to be here today. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my life. I'm thankful for what's coming. Even though it's going to be really, really hard. I'm thankful for everybody that I love and those who love me. And I'm going to continue to humble myself and do the best I can with every minute I have left because this is where we're at. People are, are leaving us left, right and center, you know. So it's all good. He will never leave us. He'll never leave you. He'll never leave me. He walks beside us when nobody else does. Knowing what we know, wouldn't it be such a tragedy to be walking through this this truth that's been revealed and to really not know him. If you don't know him or you feel like you've never heard from him, if you feel like you've prayed and you feel like he's never answered you, if you're waiting for some miracle to see with your eyes, my first advice there is stop because Jesus rebuked people like that and said, your father's asked for a sign. None will be given to you except the sign of Jonah. So they had to rely on what they thought were fables, stories, because the father said, I will not give you a sign because you ask. So blessed are those, more blessed it says, are those who believe without seeing and that's what faith is it's it's not faith for me to be able to see that tree and say that's a tree I can see it 
But what if someone with real spiritual eyes said to me, you're actually standing right on a tree now? Well, I couldn't see that. <laughs> so that would be pretty funny to, you know, I'm standing, I am the tree, am I? Okay. <laughs> I think that's classic. Bo, come here. I think you get what I mean. <laughs> so, faith is things unseen. Faith is, faith and hope are things, hope is things that you wait for in faith. So hope and faith go hand in hand, don't they? And it's amazing because we live in this material world, but we're starting to understand how spiritual it is, that it's much more spiritual than the material things we see. Like everything in this garden is literally living. And we take it for granted when we walk past these things. A lot of times we do, even though we know. But we need to be reminded. And I was, I was just saying, I should get back to that, that if you've never really felt like you've heard from the Father, pray. He will meet you in your heart. When you feel that things are changing in your heart, you will know that your prayers have been heard. Look, guys, we've all done bad things and we'll all continue to do bad things if we don't seek Him with our whole heart, our whole soul, our whole mind. That's all I can do. That's all I can do and warn people and I'm going to mess up probably my emotions will get in the way sometime but I'm going to do my best my best every day because this is a fight we're in a battle we're in a war we are in really really tight situation and if we don't step up to this, it's going to consume us. And even those around you who love you and have good intentions, those who are not being led by the Spirit, they will consume your, your love. Now, please don't get me wrong, I'm not getting personal here. I'm talking about this is, this is how it is with all of us. I mean, I'm as happy as I could be. I'm, I'm probably happier than I've been in a very long time in these last few months. More balanced and centered because I've been seeking the Father, reading the Word. As hard as it is to read the Word sometimes because of the changes, but we can discern and we can work our way around that. But if you've never heard from Him, just ask Him. I have to bear witness to miracles in my life. I cannot go to the other side and face my king and say, I told no one about the things that you did for me. Don't worry, guys. Nobody knows your heart. You do, and Father does. And that's what matters. And if they're making fun of you or you're getting, you're copying flack for what you believe, don't worry. I went through years of torment with that. Please take it from me. Let me bear witness to the absolute waste of time of getting defensive when you're trying to tell people the truth. Please take it from me. It's a waste of time. We need to talk through the spirit or not at all. We cannot use anger or emotion. We drive them away. This is all about being humble, guys, but being strong. You, a warrior is humble yet strong. You are not weak. You are not one of these suit-wearing, dress-wearing Sunday church people. You're not. You're in the living church. He's about to come back. We need to get ready. We need to put our clothes on now. 
and I'm doing it. I'm doing what I have to do and purging the last things in my life that need to be purged. And it's hard. This is painful. It's an undoing. And it's great. At the same time, it is rebirth. We can all do this. You do not have because you do not ask. He keeps telling me over and over. Then Father, I so ask. But I've had many, many miracles I have to attest to. Many, so many, I can't even think of one to tell you straight away. But they probably, some of them mightn't seem like miracles to you. But with the Father, there's no such thing as coincidence. And I just thank him every day for the best life I've had. Unbelievable. And the times when I threw it in his face and complained and went, oh, grumbled that we don't have enough because we were looking for the worldly things like everybody else back then. I don't have my own house, I don't have a good enough car, or I don't have a have have. That is where misery lies. Misery is at the door. When we think those things. We can have peace, joy, love and happiness in the Holy Spirit, we can. It has to come from within you. You cannot be affected by the thoughts of others. And it's the hardest thing to do. And you will be tested. The more you want this, the more you will be tested. Because you will notice that people do not treat you how you should be treated. I think everybody, it's just universal. Basically, we all treat each other bad. I'm not, I don't want a part of that. You know, I want to be treated as I treat others. And that is the love of Jesus. Do unto others as you want to be. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The unto undid me then. <laughs> All right, guys, I have to end this. I actually have an appointment this morning to sort out my driving instructing license renewal seeing that there's no face nappy wearing and I don't have to have one of those things I can maybe resume working so I've got to go to the Department of Transport so I will talk to you all very shortly I love you and please just stay prayed up Father please everybody listening to this in Yeshua's name in Jesus holy name bless them as they go upon their day Please give us the Holy Spirit in our temples, in our spirits. Give us your Holy Spirit to guide us, to teach us, to keep us humble and to keep us loving. Because the world's getting dark. We need you now to shine out of us more than ever, Father. Thank you, Father in heaven, Abba, Father. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day, guys. I love you, I do. We will see each other, those of us that get past this veil into the heavenly one up there. This is Beck, I'm off.